everyone, I'm Sophia Kusmanovic and today I'm going to interview my peers on their baking experiences. Not every baking experience is perfect and I learn from every baking disaster I may face. I'm going to start with one of my worst experiences with baking. One day I wanted to bake brownies and I didn't have any eggs. However, I yahooed answered what would be a great replacement for eggs and I found out that mayonnaise is apparently a substitute for eggs. That being said, I used mayonnaise instead of eggs and put it in my chocolate brownies. Needless to say, after five minutes in the oven, it started bubbling like mad. However, I just continued baking the brownies and it didn't turn out so well. It was hard as a rock and I couldn't even cut the brownies, so instead I threw them outside my window. My next guest in my interview is my teacher from multimedia storytelling, Ms. Zhang. So I'm just going to ask you the first question. What do you like about baking? I like the finished products. <laughs> they taste so good and actually I've tried very hard to do that myself. So what is the best thing you've baked? Nothing. Do you at least help someone bake? Or? I try to help my daughter learn how to bake, although I'm not a good teacher, meaning that I. I'm not a successful baker. I know my main problem. <laughs> what is your main problem? I'm not one who likes to follow strict recipes. So whenever it comes to measurement, I like to make estimates. Oh no, that's not good. That's why there's instructions, you need to follow. I, I know, and not surprisingly, every time I bake something, it turns out to be different product, uh, even though I'm following the same recipe. The worst things are not about replacing one whole cup of sugar with half a cup or a third of a cup. It's more about the um, how much milk you add, um, how much yeast. I once tried to bake a certain kind of cake, like sponge cake, and I think I was supposed to beat the egg white to oh, a certain extent. Yeah that the um, it becomes foamy yes. and you know Peaks becomes show. Yeah, uh -huh. and I, I tried so hard <laughs> I tried 30 minutes and couldn't no. make it that way and um, my husband who was a chemist he simply took it over and he did it within a couple of minutes <laughs> yeah that's all it takes you don't overbeat it oh my goodness so that being said, what is your worst baking experience? My worst experience is that I cannot even bake cake using the cake mix from a bar. <laughs> <gasps> you only need to add like three ingredients. Sometimes I may change my mind and decide that, well, how about if I add one more egg? <laughs> I mean, changing the amount of sugar is nothing, you know, and flour, it can vary, but when you put an extra egg, that's when it rises too much. I, it's just I know. The, the, my main problem comes with the, what I'm good at. I, I'm, I can cook very well, okay, and pretty creative every time I cook, so yeah. you don't expect the same product. <laughs> yeah. Each time you try my food, if I do it for three consecutive days, you're gonna taste something different each time. <laughs> But that when it comes to baking, it's a totally different story. I agree because I think cooking, you can experiment a little bit more. While baking, it's very strict because it all depends on how much flour you put, how much baking powder you put, how much yeast. It all yes, comes down to the measure. Exactly. And temperature when you take it out. <laughs> oh yeah, like we use degrees Celsius and here they use Fahrenheit. So when I was back home in Australia, recipe said put your oven on 450 degrees. Oh, I was like, God. oh my God, like I don't even have 450 degrees on my oven. I only have 360 degrees Celsius and I thought it was the same. So I put it all the way to 360 and needless to say, oh, it turned out it was horrible. Those were the worst cookies I've baked in my whole life. Well, even with baking cookies, you can tell how, how good I am. My older daughter insisted that we buy this chocolate cookie dough and she tried it and she said it's so good and I want it for Christmas. So we bought this big box and we tried one package first. I tried with a small oven because I think it's easier to manage yes. and for some reason I think I baked it for one extra minute. Oh. I don't have the gut to try that again. <laughs> you should. It's all about experiences. I think you can learn from all the experiences. Oh, I want you to teach me. I'm so fascinated about your story. <laughs> I, I want to learn. <laughs> okay, good. All right. I'll definitely put up some easy recipes that are for $5. You have to follow the instructions. Okay, I'll try. I saw uh, in one of your projects that you did it in a cup, and I was mm -hmm. amazed that you can bake in a cup. Yes. And it turns out it's such a beautiful 
beautiful shape and the way you, you know, cut it open. So <laughs> mouth watering. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. You're welcome. With pleasure.